I'm Sheng Hou from China. I'm an assistant professor at Renmin University, Beijing, China. I'm currently a Rachel Carson Fellow at the Rachel Carson Center, Munich. The topic of my research at the Rachel Carson Center is titled Old Land, New Nature, the journey of ideas and practices of nature conservation from the United States to modern China. In this project, uh, I try to focus on three major American nature writers and uh, their ex especially their acceptance in China. So these three major American natures uh, include Henry David Thoreau and his book uh, Walden, and then Eldo Leopold, his Sad County, a Sad County Almanac, and then the third one is Rachel Carson. Southern Spring. There have been many editions of these three books. So I could say that thousands and thousands of Chinese people have read these books and have thought about their ideas and also interpreted these ideas. And some of their ideas actually have also been transformed into practices, like the establishment of nature reserves in China. We know that for a very long time in China, we had this long tradition of appreciating nature's beauty, especially in uh, Chinese traditional Chinese society. And uh, this whole tradition could go back to the time period of Confucius, so that's more than 2,000 years ago. And of course, landscape architecture, landscape painting, landscape poetry, all of those themes were celebrated in Chinese art and literature. But at the same time, we should say that uh, these ideas of nature conservation were not native to Chinese people. So while people were appreciating the beauty of nature, they did not think about uh, preserving this beauty. Especially, they did not think about preserving this beauty for the public. So when we look at the origin of nature conservation in the United States, we could say that from the very beginning, especially in terms of the establishment of national park, we could say that they had some very strong democratic values in their preserving and beauty of nature. So the whole idea is, uh, okay, we have this uh, beautiful landscape and we need to preserve it uh, for what use is not for private use, not for some elite privileged people to enjoy this landscape, but for the general public to experience this beauty of nature. So this whole idea is completely new to Chinese people. But at the same time, we should say that uh, nature conservation also has a very strong um, commitment to, to these ecological concerns. So it's, just not, it's not just for humans experience in nature, but also to protect other species living in this land community, just like Aldo Leopold has discussed. And so this is something very new to China too, because originally we did not have this ecological thinking. And so in this way, when we look at, for example, when we look at uh, all those documents about um, is the establishment of nature reserves, uh, we could say that uh, biodiversity is a very important part uh, for the purpose of establishing these nature reserves. And in this uh, in case, uh, American ideas of nature conservation also influence the Chinese nature conservation in a very uh, significant way.